Hey, what's happening guys? Chris here, and it looks like DICE has finally rolled out that long-awaited bow rifle into the online servers. We've had a taste of it in the skirmish mode, but now we can actually use it against other players in Battlefront's competitive multiplayer too. And probably the best thing about this new addition is that it's absolutely 100% free, so you don't need to be a season pass holder or a member of any kind of exclusive deal. Think of it as a bit of a Christmas present for the fans. The bow rifle is a gun which has mainly been seen and referenced in the Star Wars Rebel series. It's a hybrid weapon between a blaster rifle and an electro staff, which is used by the Lasat Honor Guards on the planet of Lasan. Bow rifles are a bit of a rare weapon in the Star Wars universe, down to them being exclusively used by the Lasat species, and the only way to really acquire one is by picking it up after a previous wielder has been killed in honourable combat. And taking a fallen warrior's bow rifle is part of the Lasat Code of Honour as a gift to display their defeat to a superior opponent. The weapon itself is a unique combination featuring a collapsible staff, which when extended can deliver an electrified shock of up to 11,000 volts via those tips on the end, which send out a bright yellow or purple electrical pulse. The weapon is primarily used as a melee quarter staff in CQC engagements, though should an enemy be out of range, it also functions as a typical blaster rifle too once the staff has been retracted. In Star Wars Battlefront, DICE has definitely looked into this lore, and thought of a unique way of tying it in with the actual game, as the CJ-9 bow rifle is a viral pickup which can only be earned by killing another wielder in combat, and picking it up. So basically it's quite an easy weapon to unlock, and all you have to do to use it yourself is kill another player who has the bow rifle equipped on their loadout at that time. And they're going to drop a golden token that looks a little bit like one of the blue power-ups already in the game. The token will only appear if you kill the enemy using the bow rifle, and it'll only appear to you too, so don't worry about somebody else nabbing off with it. The only thing you really need to worry about is actually reaching the token without dying. Once you run over it, the CJ-9 bow rifle will automatically be acquired, and will be available to pick from your weapons roaster and use thereafter. Don't worry about the gun disappearing from your weapon selection if an enemy kills you, as it's a permanent unlock, and once you've earned it, it's yours for good. It's a pretty simple unlock, and you won't need to complete or purchase any hook contracts, and the weapon is accessible to everyone without having to spend a single penny. There's quite a lot of players running around using the bow rifle, especially at the moment as it's just been released, though if you're watching this video a few months after it was made, the tokens might be a little bit harder to come by, as less players are probably going to be using the bow rifle, as the appeal wears off a bit. But just keep on playing Battlefront, and eventually you should be able to get your own bow rifle easy enough. But anyway, the CJ-9 bow rifle has a semi-automatic blaster mode, which feels like a slower fire in Relby with a slightly higher damage. The blaster is going to kill up close in about 4 hits, though it's going to get weaker over distance and will probably take about 5 or 6 shots to bring down your enemy, depending on range. The rate of fire isn't particularly very fast, and it feels just a tad quicker than the X8 Knight Sniper, though it's quite a lot quicker than some of the other similar guns like the T21B, which have a much higher damage output but function in a similar kind of way. This generally makes the bow rifle's blaster more of a mid to long range weapon, as it's often not going to have the speed or firepower to take on anyone at close range, outside melee damage, and is better for chipping away at health at those medium distances, trying to land headshots for bonus damage when you can. Because it's not an automatic weapon, and a lot of the time you're just going to be firing shots off individually at targets at medium to longer ranges, cooling power is something that you should be able to manage well enough though its actual recoil can feel quite bouncy, and definitely feels less accurate than a lot of the other rifles like the Relby. And this is going to put a few of your shots off target, especially when you're tapping that trigger to fire quickly. But aside from the blaster, the bow rifle also has that staff, for up close and personal melee attacks, and there's quite a few mechanics about the electro staff which make it very different to the standard melee. The main thing to point out is that the staff can instantly kill an opponent in one hit, and this makes it easy to not only take down players at extremely close ranges in CQC, but also for denying nearby enemies their protection from personal shields. Melee range feels the same as the standard rifle smack or a pistol whip, though there is a slight delay after using the stuff, so you can't keep spamming it. And so you're usually going to have to hit your enemy first time in those very close ranges, as if you miss, you're going to be extremely vulnerable to enemy fire and other attacks. Because the staff can kill instantly in one swift move, this often makes it good for ambushing players whilst defending objectives, zapping your opponents as they rush through doorways and along narrow paths. Using the squad shield pickup is also a good way to trap unsuspecting enemies in congested areas or nearby objectives, as they'll likely rush through the shield to try and kill you or take the objective, 
and this automatically brings them closer to you and within the staff's optimal killing distance, all whilst blocking off any incoming fire from outside the shield. And anyone gullible enough to venture through the shield walls to gun you down are going to be in for a very deadly surprise. One thing to point out though is that you can't melee whilst using the personal shield star card, so unfortunately you won't be able to simply pop up your own protective shield and dash around zapping everyone nearby in your little bubble of death. This can be quite a punishing factor for players who rely on personal shields quite a lot, for playing objectives and escaping enemies, as you won't have any way to deal any sort of damage to a close by opponent whilst the shield is active. Though one tactic you could use is to use the personal shields to gain ground on your target and get closer to them, only to manually deactivate it when you're within range of the bow rifle's staff and quickly give them a jab of lethal energy. Another method to cover some ground and get close up to an enemy to utilize that staff is by using the jump pack which can not only be used as an escape tactic to get away from someone who is probably going to kill you, out of the staff's range maybe, but jump packs can also be useful for quickly getting up close to another player within that one hit kill melee range, and you can even jump right over an opponent's head if they're a bit closer up, spin around as you land and give them a deadly pat on the back to take them out. One point to make out about the electronic staff is that it deals tons of damage to any hero characters if you can manage to sneak up on them, or get close enough to finish them off quickly. Getting up close to a hero is often a very suicidal thing to do in Battlefront, but it might sometimes be best to risk it, and maybe even sacrifice yourself for the greater good, to inflict high damage to a hero player and prevent them from getting in the way of an objective and, you know, to just be a team player, and this could make it a strong weapon for hero game modes for taking out the opposition. Though despite being strong against other players, it's not very effective at destroying pickups such as droids and turrets, so it's not worth chasing after them, as you'll probably just get yourself shot in the face. So overall, the CJ-9 bow rifle is a weapon that's designed mainly as a mid to long range weapon that isn't exactly the most powerful or fast firing gun of the bunch, but it has the capabilities of taking on almost anyone in an up close brawl with those lethal melee strikes. Though because of this, it's not as strong as a lot of the other longer range rifles, and although it can do fine against other players, it's not really got any kind of oomph to justify it being a replacement to other mid to long range blasters already in the game. That said, its unique one hit kill melee is something that sets it apart from the other weapons, and it can be a very useful addition to anyone who wants to utilise its power, and unleash the fury of the bow rifle staff up close. Though if your opponent strays just outside of that melee zone, then the bow rifle's blaster isn't the most reliable thing in the world, and it's often going to be hard to come out of gunfights in CQC alive. It's not very effective up close, taking up to 4 shots to kill, and so it might be best to have the Berserker or Sharpshooter traits equipped to increase damage slightly whilst hip firing or in ADS. The bow rifle is a free weapon and it's fairly easy to unlock, and is definitely worth a try, but might not be for everyone, and should mainly be used against players further away or at point blank range for it to do much justice. But anyway, that's just about it for this one guys, hope you enjoyed the video, hit that like button if you did, and subscribe to see loads more. Take it easy, and I'll be seeing you in that next one.